continuing from my previous video, which was part one. Uh, we started solving this differential equation by reducing the order. So what we did was we let dy by dx as w, and then we could write the second the second derivative that is d squared y by dx squared as dw by dx, and then we said well dw by dx is nothing but dw by dy times w. And then we did the substitution. So this became uh, d. This became uh, dw by dx is dw by dy times w. So what will happen now is uh, dw by by substitution we did this, and then we factored out the w. We solved this differential equation or this part of the differential equation. We got a family of equation which is constant and we, then we started on this branch and uh, I will go over the steps slowly and then we uh, integrated both sides we got to here and then we did a substitution which was the condition which was given and then we found the constant was 2 and then we put the 2 back into the uh, equation and then again separating the x's and y we we reached here and then we did a trig substitution okay and once we simplify the trig substitution uh, we started with y squared over 4 is sine squared theta so y over 2 is sine theta and ultimately we reached here that uh, integration of sec theta d theta is equal to x plus a so i want to integrate this function okay that is how do you integrate uh, sec theta? So integration of sec theta d theta. Uh, if you can remember the formula, this is natural log of sec theta. This is in, if in some books they give you the formula. It's good to remember this formula. Okay. Plus of course c. Okay, so this is a formula. So let us prove this. So it is not very intuitive. How would you get from this form to this form? So this is also a video of proving integration of sec theta as this. Okay, so let us start. So before we start, let me show you the d, the derivative of sec theta, d by d theta of sec theta is sec theta tan theta sec theta tan theta and we need to know that and d by d theta of tan theta is sec squared theta sec squared theta okay so let us this is uh, we can prove this but uh, that's not the focus now so when you want to integrate sec theta d theta you what you do is this is integration of sec theta times I'm going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by sec theta plus tan theta I can't it's difficult to explain at this stage why I, I do it but the only thing that I can tell you is this is nothing but one now the big question is why did I multiply by, by sec theta how do I know that okay there's a reason because if you simplify the numerator this is sec squared theta plus sec theta tan theta I hope you can see why I did it now okay now if you look at the denominator and the numerator the differential or the de derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta so here you have got uh, the differential or derivative of sec theta is sec theta tan theta and the differential or the derivative of tan theta is sec squared theta so basically what is this this is the numerator is f dash theta and the denominator is f of theta so this is a function in terms of th in theta and this is the derivative of this and there's again a neat formula like this integration of f dash for calculus students of NCA you have this formula in your formula sheet integration of f dash theta over 
f theta d theta p theta is natural log of f of theta plus c of course okay so here using this formula we can write directly the answer and that's how they get natural log of sec theta plus tan theta but we're going to use we don't want to use this formula we want to prove that this is equal to this so so continuing so i'm going to do a substitution let u is equal to sec theta plus tan theta the denominator i'm taking as u so we know the derivative of sec theta and we know the derivative of tan theta so differentiating with respect to theta du by d theta sec uh, sec theta uh, differentiates to sec theta tan theta tan theta and tan theta differentiates to sec squared theta this implies du is sec theta tan theta plus sec squared theta times d theta so if you look at the numerator this whole big numerator this numerator this whole thing is nothing but du and the denominator is u so i can say integration of sec theta d theta d theta is integration of 1 over u du which is natural log of u plus c and now what is u u is sec theta plus tan theta so there's a natural log of sec theta plus tan theta okay i'm not writing the c okay at this stage because on the right hand side we have already got the constant so when you're integrating both sides you don't put constant on both sides i'm not writing the c yes i'm deleting the c i should have written any other letter so let me rewrite the question this is where so we reached here integration of sec theta d theta is equal to x plus a and we have just proved that integration of sec theta is nat natural log of sec theta plus tan theta so this is natural log of modulus of sec theta plus tan theta is equal to x plus a now natural log has a base of e so writing this in the exponent form i can say sec theta plus tan theta is equal to x plus a or e to the power x plus a e to the power x plus a which is e to the power x times e to the power a now e to the power a is a constant which can be written as capital a so i'm going to write the next step as sec theta plus tan theta is equal to a e to the power x now we have to write this in terms of y and x okay that's a function this is in theta so now what do we know so where have where did we start so this is where we started y is equal to 2 sine theta so let me write that now again now y is 2 sine theta which implies sine theta is y over 2 okay so sine squared theta is y squared over 4 so the y sine squared is nothing but cos squared 1 minus cos squared theta is y squared over 4 so making cos squared the subject i can say cos squared theta is uh, 1 minus y squared over 4 which is 4 minus y squared over 4 so cos theta is square root of 4 minus y squared over 2 so let us simplify this a little because it will be useful so this is square root of 2 plus y over 2 minus y over 2 
Okay, so let us bring this back. So this is we have got sec theta, cos sine theta, and cos theta. So let me re rewrite that. So this is sec theta plus tan theta is equal to a e to the power x. So this is one over cos theta plus sine theta over cos theta is equal to a e to the power x. So cos theta is 2 over this, so this over 2, so 1 over cos theta would be 2 over, therefore this becomes 2 over what, square root of 2 plus y times 2 minus y, this is a very huge example, plus what is y, sine theta, sine theta is y over 2 divided by cos theta is this, upon, so the 2 will get cancelled. So basically you will have plus y over square root of 2 plus y times 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. So this is, has an equal denominator, so this is nothing but 2 plus y over uh, square root of, I can write this as square root of 2 plus y times square root of 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. So this gets really exciting. So this is 2 plus y I can write as square root of 2 plus y the whole squared over square root of 2 plus y times square root of 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. So I hope you can understand the cancellation, this and this gets cancelled. So what has remained? You have got now square root of 2 plus y over square root of 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. So this is same as square root of 2 plus y over 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. Now squaring both sides, you can say 2 plus y over 2 minus y is equal to a e to the power x. Okay, so now cross multiplying, so I can say 2 plus y is 2 a e to the power x minus 2 y. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, that's right. Okay, so let me do this step. This step is difficult to understand. So this is, this is, I, I think you can leave the answer here, but let us try to write in terms of y and x. A e to the power x times 2 minus y. Okay, so this becomes 2 plus y is equal to 2, uh, can we separate the y? So let us try. So that is 2 a e to the power x minus y times a e to the power x. Okay, so yeah, I've done a mistake here. I have to square this side. Okay, so I have to square this because I'm squaring both sides. So this will become 2x because you can, if you square, this is an arbitrary constant. So if you uh, square this, so you can put a different constant, it doesn't matter, this is because this is an arbitrary, so let's make this b. So this is a squared times e to the power 2x, and now a squared has become b, okay. So let me change this into b. I know it's very lengthy video, 2b e to the power x times y Okay, so let us bring the y's together. So this is y plus y times b e to the power. This should be 2x here. 2x is equal to uh, 2 b e to the power 2x minus 2. Okay, so you can factor out the y. 1 plus b e to the power 2x is equal to 2 times b e to the power 2x 
minus 1. We're almost there. So therefore, y is equal to 2 times b e to the power 2x minus 1 over b e to the power 2x plus 1. Okay, so this is a family of, this is a family of a function, okay. So here, hopefully I haven't, haven't done any mistakes. So if I have done any mistake, I would like to listen from you. See you in the next